Welcome back to another animation analysis clip and this time we're not looking at a trailer, we're looking at an animated sequence animated by Deepak Dinesh. And if you're here for the first time, feel free to browse around my channel. I post all kinds of things like animation analysis and lectures and news and all kinds of things. So if this is something that you like, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. But first, let's go back and watch the whole thing with sound. Thanks for picking me up, brother. Well, you know, do you think I'm gonna miss my celly getting out? Hey, how's your girl, man? Oh, uh, she left me. Oh. Yeah, my mom died too. And my dad got deported. But I got the van. It's nice. Yeah, right? All right. Now, if you're wondering why am I picking this clip, it's because of very self-serving and self-indulgent reasons. But he tagged me on his Twitter post here saying that he made this clip based on my FNA lectures. And that's why I want to take a look at this clip here and point out the things that I like. So first off, right off the bat, what I like about this is that this could be a really good piece for your Demerol starter. So let's pretend, let's go back here. Let's pretend this is not fading out as much. You could have something where you actually tilt up a lot more and that plane is not actually in frame yet. So basically all you have is this background. So imagine you would have the name of the animator, the year, the title, character animator, that's all you would need. Like whatever starting intro title card you have for your reel. Then this could be over black or whatever color or over this background. Let's pretend it's over another color. Then this background would slowly fade in and we would have that gradient, but none of this and not the plane. Then this slowly comes into the shot because we're tilting down and then the plane comes in and then that's the beginning. So it's basically you have your title card beginning of the reel and then that leads into the shot. I think that could be a really good transition from a title card to your first shot. We have a environment clue where we are. Okay, it's the airport. Just in case you don't know, it is the airport and it shows us we got two characters. We know where they are. It gives us a bit of a context. It's an establishing shot, but right off the bat and this is why i like this we are seeing this character walking grabbing i love this too that he grabs the car up there the van puts the foot up there and gets in and you got the weight and this all the while this character is getting in this bit less body mechanics wise but right off the bat we are seeing okay this animator can animate because you got body mechanics you got a change of the body mechanics you got influence on the car. This already tells me, okay, okay, the timing's good. The mechanics are good. This is not something that a recruiter, whoever, needs to turn off right off the bat. But then the clever thing is that, bam, we're cutting to a somewhat mid shot of the character. So it's kind of like your classic waist up for a lip sync shot. But that's okay because he has started with a full body mechanic shot to show off, okay, I can do more than just this type of thing or we don't really show the weight. The other thing that's really cool is that as he continues, here, it's good continuity between the two shots. You see the weight boom, as he gets into the van here. I love all of that here. But you get good back and forth between the two characters. It's very clear where to look. You have some detail with the bottle. So you can really start putting in a bit more detail work in with props, with fingers, general motion with the body. You can see here as he goes back and forth again, this all influences the van. You have detail work on stuff like this that I always love. And speaking of which, when he gets going here, before we go into the body mechanics and lip sync of the actual piece here, I love this. I love that he's grabbing this, but he has to look where it is. See that? He's grabbing this. It's not quite working. It's some good secondary action and some business there. Because he just got a van. He might not be super familiar with it. I like this. I like that little detail of it's not super clean how he grabs this. It gives him something to do. Let's go back here. I love all this. And in terms of the lip sync, it's not just them sitting, being all still and doing nothing. I like, again, like I said, the business that he has. He has the business here. As he says something, he leans in, wants to be engaged towards the character. He kind of like, yeah, hey, yeah, of course, no problem. So he has that type of lean back and then going forward. And like that little camaraderie here, you can see they're friends. All of that tells us more about those two characters. And the cool thing too is that after seeing all of this, seeing a bit more detail, you can still cut and punch in to a bit more focused lip sync for both characters. So now you can cut between the two to really focus on details, whatever props you have, whatever you do something else, right? Whatever shot you would have with props or no props, but it's a good change into where it's a bit more nuanced. Also the lip sync, the, the content of what he's saying 
adds for a bit more nuance in the emotions. Like, ah, this didn't work out. This didn't work out. And also a reaction shot to that. He doesn't have to say anything, but he can still react to what he's listening to, which is always really good. And you can continue that for comedy. So as he continues, as this escalates into his situation, it's getting worse and worse and worse. You can just have that as a storytelling comedy pose. Like this alone on a real wouldn't be that impressive. But this works in the sequence because it's a reaction to what he's saying here. And it kind of reflects what the audience is going through as well. As I'm listening to this going, really? Wow, that's really bad. And that's exactly this reaction. Now let's go back. As he gets ready, grabs the steering wheel, turns on the van. You can see even a little detail here. Stuff starts to move. Mono, 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 mono. Everything here continues on. Then he's got that big reveal of, hey, but I got the van. And then we cut back into a wider shot. So now we're done with the more close-up lip sync. <laughs> nice, nice frame here. We're done with the close-up and now we can finish it off with a, okay, both characters in frame. The punchline is done. They're getting ready to exit and go. And even this here, an exaggerated lean of that van going this way and then fade out to the end of the shot. So short and sweet, but so much that I like. And it's, it's I mean, like I said, it's very self-indulgent and it's very tailored towards me, but I love an entrance like this, giving you an establishing shot. This gives you the opportunity to include a text, whatever you want, a title, this could be for your demo reel, whatever you want. You start off right off the bat with body mechanics. You don't start on a close-up where we don't quite know, can you do body mechanics? Can you do weight shifts? Can you just wait in general? So that is taken care of. You got good interaction with a set or a prop, whatever you want to call that. Then it continues into more of a close-up shot where you can see a bit more interaction, a bit more detailed animation. And you want to see more, then you have a bit more secondary interaction and action of the character with the prop and the set. Then you can go into close-ups for more acting and close-up facial animation and reactions. And then we finish off with this where you can see both of them and it's a nice comfortable exit of both of them. That is my recap and that is just a shot I really, really like. It's overall well constructed, really well animated. And if it's something that you are looking for in terms of reference of what could I do, what could I do in terms of a cool lip sync shot, that would be my recommendation. I'll put a link to his Twitter in the description for free to check out his account, look at what he has done on Vimeo. Lots of great work. And as always, you know, I have workshops. So also that is in the description. If you want me to help you with your shots, to have a shot like this, that's as awesome as this one. You can sign up at any time. And if you don't want to miss these types of animation analysis clips, feel free to subscribe, as I said before, so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you for watching until the very end. And I will see you in my next clip.